It is currently 7.20 in the morning here in Pennsylvania, and it is raining outside. But I'm about ready to leave to go to my parents' house, get picked up to go to have morning breakfast, and then we're gonna head down to South Carolina for the night and then finish the trip out tomorrow to head to Florida. So go along with me. We are currently in uh, Virginia, the south end, almost into South Carolina. Um, tell it's getting further south, it's getting warmer. So, almost to the hotel for the end of day one. It is about 7.30 at night. We have finally made it into South Carolina, and we get to make a stop that I've always wanted to go to. First time I ever get to go see a Bucky's. Oh, there's a statue over here. Oh, they have a southern accent. Forgot we're in the south now. There's a Bucky statue. Forgot we're down in the south now, so everybody's got a southern accent. I can listen to these people talk all day. So we're done at the Bucky's, heading back to the car, gonna wait for everybody else. All we got in there, there's a little Bucky stuffed animal, because that's what you get when your wife has a weird stuffed animal collection. So gonna be on the road for another about a half an hour to the hotel, you can eat, and then tomorrow morning make the what is it, next seven hours, eight hours, trek to Florida and get settled in there where we will start working Monday morning. So, see you in like a half an hour or so. So we made it back to the hotel. We ate supper and uh, we're gonna go to bed and be back on the road at like 7.30 in the morning. Plus we have an hour leap ahead tomorrow morning. So basically back on the road at 6.30 in the morning to head down to Florida. So, Catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is about 7 o'clock in the morning here in South Carolina. Uh, just waking up so we can go eat breakfast at the motel we're at. And then we are going to be on the road by 7.30 to head down to Florida. It's gonna be about an eight hour drive, another long day, get down there, have a nice supper, and then tomorrow morning we start working. So we trekked the eight hours from South Carolina down here to Florida. We are now in Port Charlotte. As you can see behind me, this is part of the Gulf 
of Florida. Um, figured I'd get out here and do a little bit of vlogging before it gets too dark. This is a gorgeous view. I guess they said that you can uh, see some porpoise hopping up every once in a while. They'll come out to the Gulf here. So, and one of my biggest things here besides doing some work and helping people who lost their homes is finding an alligator. I would love to see one in the wild. I ain't touching it, but I want to see one. So, there's people. I'm not used to vlogging around people. There's Dadway up there. That's that lady's house. Uh, she has made supper for us, and it was delicious. I found out she also went to Alice Cooper's home and had lunch with him and his wife, which is pretty cool. So, let's go over here to the edge of the water. This lady has such a gorgeous view that you can't see how deep that is, which is absolutely terrifying. You can see over there a little bit, some of the roofing on that place is still torn apart. Uh, some places just have not been able to afford uh, repairing their homes yet. But uh, we still have yet to get to the church that's putting us up for the night in their um, crib room, which is hilarious. So I'm not sure if I can get some video in before we get there, but definitely I'll be doing some uh, traveling after we're done each day working. It's nice to finally have a good setup where I have a microphone that picks up everything pretty well. And it's windy, so I got my dead cat on, so we'll see how well the wind sounds with this too. So this is a little bit of a test for the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro X. Ooh, I'm falling over. This cool little stairwell that goes up to the first floor and they got a pool and it is uh, what time is it here 7 30 in Port Charlotte Florida and I'll tell you what what is the weather that can't be right 74 degrees right now at 7 30 in Port Charlotte it is supposed to get upwards of 90 degrees this week, which I am looking forward to because looking at posts back from home, apparently it started snowing. So if I don't see you guys the rest of this night, I will see you tomorrow morning before we start working. Good morning. It's Monday morning at about 7.30. Slept in here in this third grade classroom here at New Day Church in Port Charlotte, Florida. They are housing us for this trip on an air mattress. Outside the door, there's a little sign that says, parents, today we are having goldfish. So the parents know what the little kids are allowed to have in their room. So that's an ongoing joke already. We're gonna do our Bible study here shortly and then get packed up and head out to the home we're going to be working on today. I'm not sure if it's the only one we'll be doing. I think there's at least two houses they want to get to, so hopefully we can get to all, all the houses we can this week. See you guys later on in the day.
on day three of this trip, Larry and I were asked to go to another person's home, an older lady who had a gorgeous house and a gorgeous view, as you can see. Um, and she said she used to have an alligator that would come up onto her property there. But she was a spunky old lady who loved the company, had some cool stories, had a really tragic story of how she lost her husband, um, or how she found out, I should say, called her husband's phone, saw the GPS was heading to a morgue for the guy to answer her husband's phone to say he's passed away and they're taking his body to the morgue. But she was in good spirits and it was such a joy to be around. And this was just a different experience that I've ever done in my entire life for this working witness trip. After we were done painting the ladies' ceilings, we did go back to the original house where Abigail and I finished the insulation of the roof and they stuck her in a hole to try to finish above the washer and dryer. Passing right by on the air right? from the airport. Well, we leave the white dots on it. No, that's just. Really? Yeah. A little gondola or uh, pavilions. This is the total progress we made on the house that we were working on all week. We got just about everything done except for the walls in one spot on the roof in the kitchen, which will then be saved for the following week 
or a group of teens from another church would come and finish up what we didn't. It's currently Thursday night at roughly nine o'clock. Almost 10 o'clock, it is almost 10 o'clock on this Thursday night. This is our final night staying in the church here at New Day Christian Church in Port Charlotte, Florida. Figured I would give a little tour of this church. I'm currently sitting in their green room. I've never been in a church this big that has had a green room. Um, before we head out to the main area, this is, I just want to come over here and show the behind the scenes that I found um, that I think is really cool. I and mean, this church is ginormous. But come around this turn, and they have a back room for their video and stuff. And I'll show you in a bit. They have. Uh, there are video cameras at the back of the sanctuary, but they have this room in here that I think is super cool that has their audio and video set up. They're currently using ProPresenter, which we will be switching to at our church. And then they have in here their own little recording studio. Out the front way to the foyer, they have a baptismal room, which I'll show you on the other side as soon as we get out to their sanctuary gymatorium. And then parade schools used to have a cafe gymatorium, but they have it's a big sanctuary, gymnasium, whatever. And they have a loading dock here, probably for bands and stuff this huge church. Wouldn't call it a mega church, but they have about 2,500 people. So this here is their little, I guess they call it connecting point, little lobby that they sit down with people, <clears throat> sell t-shirts and have free stickers and stuff. Well, wow, this here is their foyer, main entrance place, where they, looks like they have gift bags and water bottles and stuff for new people. Logos on the door. Take you into the sanctuary. This is their sanctuary. Right now they have all the chairs up because they had a teen event Wednesday. So I'm not sure when they're gonna put them all down. This seat's about know, probably 3,000 people. Up onto this huge stage that would be good for concerts. And then back here is their baptismal. The steps into the pool. No shotgun mics, so you can hear everything going on in there. And this is the view from the stage. One thing that really bugs me is there's a spot here on the ground that says message for Pastor Rusty. It's right here. You're about dead center with the sanctuary. Here's center of stage, but his sermon's over there, which just irritates me for whatever reason. But this has been a different kind of experience for me personally. I've never done a word of witness trip, nothing like that. I haven't been to Florida since like 2009 and the stories of the people that we went to and helped today are just 
crazy. I'm, I mean, insane. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And be on the lookout for my upcoming project where I reboot the Nazarene Nerd podcast with a couple other hosts and some random topics that we decide to. So just be on the lookout for the next video and that podcast coming up soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video.